opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. Nx e4 captures the undefended e4 pawn. d4 takes space in the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. b5 takes space on the queen side and forces white's light squared bishop to b3. bb3 retreats the bishop to a more active square. d5 takes space in the center, protects the knight on e4 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Dx e5 captures the e5 pawn and attacks the important d6 and f6 squares. b6 develops the light squared bishop and defends the d5 pawn. c3 controls the d4 and b4 squares and opens up the c2 square for the bishop to retreat to. bc5 develops the bishop to an active square where it controls the center and attacks the f2 pawn. nbd2 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the knight on e4. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Bc2 moves the bishop to a new diagonal where it attacks the knight on e4. Nxf2 captures a pawn and exposes the white king at the cost of sacrificing material. Rxf2 captures a knight and prevents a discovered check against the white king. F6 offer an exchange of pawns, with the idea of meeting x6 with bxf2+, plus, kxf2 and qxf6 x6 captures the pawn. bxf2 plus gives a check and captures the rook. kxf2 captures the bishop, winning two pieces for a rook and pawn. qxf6 captures the pawn, pins the knight and creates a battery on the f-file. It is the last book move. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This threatens to win a knight. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. It is a miss. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a great but hard to find move. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning material. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a miss. This threatens to win a pawn. It is a miss. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to win material. It is a miss. This is the only good move. This threatens to win material. It is a great move. This ignores a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is a mistake. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. 
This was a game-changing move, giving Black a winning position. It is a great move. This protects the attack knight. It is best. This is the way to win a knight. This is the only good move. It is best. This loses material. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That was a free pawn. It is best. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This removes a queen that put the king in check. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This evades the check from the pawn. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This skewers the opponent's pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. That bishop was free for the taking. This is the start of the end game and black is winning. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is excellent. This steps away from the checking bishop. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. It is excellent. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is best. This promotes a pawn to a queen. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This evades the check from the queen. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This forks multiple pieces. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. It is excellent. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This is the way to win a rook. It is best. This evades the check from the queen. It is best. This continues the checkmate threat. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is good. This wins a rook. It is best. This misses a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is an inaccuracy. This continues the checkmate threat. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game.